Hello everyone, welcome to PySquare Academy, myself Shekhar. In this lecture, I will discuss the exact answer for the question which most of you are not aware. Even in the textbooks also, you will not find this answer. This is an answer exclusively presented to you by PySquare after rigorous research by our research team. The question is, why complex power S is equal to VI conjugate? I am pretty sure you will get a lot of good insights from this lecture, so watch till the end. Pi square has done such Y series questions in the past like Y 50 Hertz, Y power factor, Y inductor will not allow shunt engine currents, Y transformers are written in KVA, Y shunt motor doesn't run with AC and etc. There are a lot of videos. You can see these video links in the description below. If you like our videos and want full length video courses, you can check the first link in the description below. At the best price, you will get a full length video courses. If you are new to the channel and want more such kind of interesting videos, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified on our new uploads immediately. Let's get to the topic of why S is equal to VA conjugate. Before presenting our answers, I would like to give the answers which most of the electrical engineers think that they are correct. And this is the answer even presented by many standard textbook authors also. That is, we use conjugate to match the convention of the reactive power. Let me repeat the point. We use conjugate to match the convention of the reactive power polarity. Let me elaborate this point. In case of an inductor, we know for an inductor, active power consumed is zero. For a capacitor also, active power consumed is zero. Then what about reactive power? Here also reactive power. There is no active power consumed by this as well as this. Reactive power, does it consume in reactive power? Actually speaking, the instantaneous power of an inductor is something like this. It's symmetric sinusoid. Okay. Here, symmetric sinusoid. I told you why sinusoid, what is sinusoid, everything in the other lecture. You can check the Y series lectures in the description below. So these are instantaneous power, small p. These are small p for capacitor, these for inductor. If you notice these two, these two are exactly opposite to each other, anti-phase, they are anti-phase, okay, they are anti-phase to each other. Now, here active power, power consumed is average power is equal to 0 for this, here also average power is equal to 0, 0, but there is an exchange of power, so this maximum value, we will call it as a reactive power, I repeat, the maximum value of this changing component, we will call it as reactive power. So maximum value is Vi sin phi here, Vi sin phi here. Okay. Now the waveform says both are antiphase, right? So I will treat this one as positive, this one as negative. If I take this as positive, this is negative. If I take this as positive, this will be negative. So as a standard convention, we will take this as inductor case Q will take it as positive because most of the loads are inductive in nature, very less loads you will find capacitive in nature. So as a convention, as a convention, convention means as a tradition, we will start taking for an inductor Q as positive, for a capacitor Q as negative. This is a convention guys, this is a key point of this entire session, okay, this is a convention. Now as for the textbooks, they will give. We now got it, Q is equal to positive for inductor, Q is equal to negative for capacitor. This is fixed. Now we know S is equal to, if I don't take conjugate, simply if I take S is equal to V into I, V vector I vector. Okay. And if I have a phasor diagram like this, these are voltage and current is like this. Current is lagging or leading? Current is lagging by an angle phi. So the voltage vector v is equal to voltage vector v is equal to v at an angle 0 and current vector i is equal to i at an angle minus phi okay i am representing these two phasors in polar form so now v into i is equal to if you multiply these two you will get v into i at an angle minus phi see here what is this load this is lagging load lagging load rl load okay here lagging so q must be positive as per the convention we know inductor is there q must be positive look at this s is equal to vi at an angle minus phi 
if I take simply v into i, I will get s is equal to v i at an angle minus pi. Now if I expand this, what will have? I am just expanding it here. v i cos phi minus j v i sin phi. Euler expansion or Euler expansion. Okay. So by expanding it like this, by expanding, you will get this. v i cos phi minus j v i sin phi, which is equal to s, s is p plus j q. So from this, what we got was q is equal to minus q we got it as minus but we should get as it is an inductor we should get plus q but we are getting minus that's what to match the convention if i keep conjugate here if i keep conjugate for this current this will be plus this will be plus now there is a match okay now there is a match so this is the answer what normally given by the any textbook or any electrical engineer but this is not the complete answer i'll give you the complete answer stay connected now let's take another case let me take another case so that things will be more clear for you in the other case suppose voltage is here current is here this is a current leading means what rc load capacitor is there so that's why it is leading by some angle rc load so now if I take S is equal to V I directly, I am multiplying V into I instead of V A conjugate, I am taking S is equal to V into I. Let's check whether we will get a match or not. So V is equal to V at an angle 0 and I is equal to I at an angle 5. I am representing this in polar form. If you multiply these two, you will get V I at an angle 5 and V I cos phi plus J V I sin phi. As for the convention, I should get this Q value, this Q value, I should get it as negative because I have a capacitor. That's what I said the convention. As for the convention, capacitor means Q is negative, but here we have positive. There is a mismatch. There is a mismatch. To have again a match, if I keep conjugate here, this will be minus, this will be minus. Okay. So Q is now minus V i sin phi. There is a match there is a coherence between the convention what we had taken and the mathematics what we followed okay this is an answer again this is not a complete answer i'll come to the answer let me extend this a little bit i'm extending this a little bit suppose i have a reference here voltage is here current is here okay current is lagging by an angle beta suppose with respect to this reference, current is lagging by an angle beta and voltage is leading by an angle alpha. Tell me what is the power factor angle between voltage and current? Power factor angle means obviously voltage and current, angle between voltage and current. Angle between voltage and current is alpha plus beta. These are angle. Let's see by using this. If I take S is equal to V into I, then we know if I convert this into polar form, V is equal to V at an angle plus alpha and I is equal to I at an angle minus beta. Okay. So if I put it here, V I at an angle alpha minus beta. So if I expand, you will get V I, if I expand this, you will get V I cos alpha minus beta plus j v i sin alpha minus beta. The angle is supposed to be alpha plus beta, but here we see alpha minus beta. Again wrong thing. Again to have a match, if I have a conjugate here, if I take conjugate for the voltage, plus will be the, this will be plus, this will be plus. Now we have a match. Okay, now we have a match. Now, I am not saying these are wrong, these are exactly correct, but they are not complete, this is not the complete answer. The answer what is concluded so far is, to have a match between Q and S is equal to V i, means to have a match between the convention, the conclusion so far what we are drawn is, what is given in the textbooks is, to have a coherence between the convention and mathematics. We use conjugate, 
this is incomplete answer now let me come to the final answer which you are anticipating for we use s is equal to vi conjugate if we take voltage as reference voltage as reference if you take current as reference if you take current as reference then s is equal to v into i directly except current as reference you take anything as reference either voltage as reference like this case this case voltage reference here this case some other reference is there neither voltage nor current some other reference is there then also you must use vi conjugate if you take voltage as reference or any other reference simply if you take a reference as other than current other than current then we'll use s is equal to vi conjugate why again vi conjugate this is a condition at which vi conjugate is used why to have a match to have a coherence between the convention coherence between the convention and mathematics suppose if we use current vector as reference if you use current vector as reference i can directly take complex power s is equal to v into i let me give an example also that makes more clear that makes things more clear these are current these are voltages okay i'm taking current as reference and these are voltages okay so i is equal to i at an angle 0 and v is equal to v at an angle plus 5 plus 5 this is which load is this this is lagging load this is lagging load because current is lagging the voltage current is lagging the voltage lagging load we can say now s is equal to v into i if i use this directly v i at an angle 5 then you will have v i cos phi plus j v i sin phi other definition stay as it is guys other definition means what is power factor angle power factor angle is yes you need to take uh, angle at which current is lagging this voltage that's what power factor angle all other definitions are same but reference i am taking as current now when i want to say lagging or leading you take voltage and you comment about this okay so here the point is s is equal to v into i is taken if you take current as reference if you use voltage or any other thing other than current as reference then you must use vi conjugate to have a proper match i know it will be difficult for you little difficult for you to accept this fact just try with the different examples okay try with the different examples then you will understand i am saying the point here vi conjugate you is used to have a coherence between convention mathematics this is partially correct this is completely correct when we add this if you use a current as reference then directly this formula as we use voltage as reference we must use vi conjugate to have a coherence between convention and mathematics now we know most of the cases we take voltage as reference we take voltage as reference most of the cases because current keeps on changing with respect to load current keeps on changing so it is as advised most of the times to take voltage as reference that's why you must use vi conjugate i think you like this lecture hit the like button and share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more such kind of interesting videos and hit the bell icon for getting notifications immediately and if you want full length video courses check the first link given in the description so that you will get the full length video courses for the best price thank you see you in the next lecture